Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with somebody who was under the age uh, with a DUI. Let's see here. My 17-year-old son had an accident driving my car and was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Well, first of all, it's illegal here in the state of California for anybody under the age of 21 to drink any amount of alcohol. Uh, minor with alcohol, generally speaking, is an infraction. Um, but the problem, though, is that if he has any uh, amount of alcohol in his system, even if he is not at a .08 or more, um, he can still be charged with a DUI. Not only this, but because he's only 17, he wouldn't have a license yet here in the state of California. He needs to be 18 to have a license. Now, based on that, that means he's also driving without a license. This is a violation of Vehicle Code Section uh, 12500, which carries up to six months in the county jail here in the state of California. Now, him getting this DUI, remember DUI is a misdemeanor, assuming he didn't hurt anybody under vehicle code section uh, 23152B, which carries up to six months in the county jail. Now, if he crashed, and it says right here that he crashed, the question I have is, well, did he hurt anybody else? I mean, the court's not really gonna care if he hurt himself, but uh, did he hurt anybody else? Well, because if he did, even if it was a little mark on somebody else's finger, well, then now we're talking about a felony DUI under uh, vehicle code section 23153, which carries up to three years. Now because your son is only 17, all of these sentences that I'm mentioning would not be state prison sentences. He would have to serve these sentences at a juvenile correction facility. Now, this is another thing that needs to be understood regarding criminal, uh, do you, I'm sorry, regarding uh, juvenile cases. In juvenile cases, there is no bail. In other words, uh, you can't pay uh, a bail bonds company and for them to release the, your son. The judge would release the son to you, the father, provided that the judge feels that you would be responsible for him. And more likely, the judge would require that he wear a GPS monitor uh, during his release. Now, the other issue that needs to be factored in is that in juvenile court, there is no jury trial. There is no jury trial. It's trial by judge. Judges tend to convict people far more often than juries. Uh, attorneys, we try to get attack, uh, you know, uh, jury's emotions to try to get them to go on, you know, our way, so that the decision goes our way. But it's much, much harder to do that with a judge. So very few cases, very, very, very few juvenile cases will actually go to jury trial. And if the evidence is clear there, you're better off taking a plea deal with the DA. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation in court, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of a fight and consumption of liquor with minors. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers. DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers. Criminal attorney, criminal attorneys. DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.